Lord over them. Well, thank you. But practice in the loss. Natural, something in the same life.
I don't want to waste time. You should come with me. Where? Anyhow, you should come in the middle of Ganges, Yamuna, and Saraswati. I take bath there three times. One, two, three. And then come. Indeed. Where? In the Council of the Lord Goswami. Vajrayat and Mahaprabhu's teachings. We have been on so many days. We have come up to the Kripa, Bhakti Kripa. After Brahmanda, <coughs> Parabhyam, Virya, Parabhyam, and then Gaurav Parinda. 
I explain how many branches, five branches there in Guru Vrindavan. And in five branches, oh, so many upper branches. Some branches, lights and many lights. Oh, you cannot come. Their fruits are also so sweet. And then the creeper goes there in the lotus feet of Kalpa Vriksha, Krishna lotus feet. Kalpa Vriksha. Whatever you want. At once quickly you will have it. Anything you want. Like desired tree. But Oh, the gardener is here. Where? But you cannot imagine that how he is here. By body, you can see him here. But he saw so, oh, with Kripa. So, here, in his body, is high class of association. Always hearing, and after hearing he, he is returning. What? What he hears? Like what? Sukadeva Goswami heard from his father repeatedly. And then he did Kirtan in the Council of Parishit Maharaj. And what Sukadeva Goswami heard there from his Gurudev. And he told to all son of son of 88,000 of Rishi And in their line, Marvendra Puri and then Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and after that Sarup Damodar Raya Ramananda and after that Rupsanathan. And in this line, up to now, they are following the same line. So you should try to follow. Practically, <coughs> sincerely, externally, internally, in all ways. The gardener, they are always hearing. Like how, what? <coughs> Rupa and Sanatan met in Nandagaon. Ter Kadamba. And then, uh, hearing and discussing. What things? Sweet pastimes of Krishna. From, from morning, it became three. They forget that very sun. Whether it is hot or cold. So, observe. Hot melting. Sometimes when they were discussing about the separation mode of Radha and Krishna, or tree even, oh, the, all the lips have it all dry and drop. Very strange. And when they began to discuss their meetings, Shambhav Leela, how they are smiling, making each other smile. As you heard, Krishna is Madhur, his Radha is Madhur, his all gopis are Madhur, his crooked glands are so Madhur. Even his uh, justy, justy you know, his crooked and very Madhur. His mother is Madhur, his father is Madhur, his friends are Madhur, Gop, gopis are madhur, cows are madhur, oh his Vrindavan is madhur, oh Mathura is madhura. You cannot imagine from now. If you will attend the association of Rupsanatha and likewise, then you will forget. Like they forget sun, very sun.
And when they are speaking about all Madhur, everything is Madhura. His Lila Madhura, his Benu Madhura, his everything is sweet, so sweet, so sweet. And when discussing each other, oh, the trees which were dried at all, and new, new leaves, oh, radish. It seems that they were also hearing. If trees are in these systems, oh, we should try to have like this, that we should forget that. And new leaves in our manjaris and everything should come. And we should also be Madhu. Because we will become of Radha Krishna. So we should try. So, even Mali, Gardner is here, but he is testing what? Sitting here, like here one day, uh, the first time of Srinivasa Acharya and Ramakrishna. You were here this one. Oh, they are sitting here. And where they are? With creeper and testing, like Rupa Goswami, like Sanatan Goswami, or sitting here, they were chanting, but at once they were observed, and chanting was there, and they become senseless for this world, but very active for that world. And they are oh, seeing that as the, as a manjari they are there. In the council of Gopis, with Krishna. Oh, making so many pastimes there. And sometimes, oh, a shadow comes in their body, oh, laughing, sometimes weeping. <coughs> and this is the state, state told in Bhagavatam, Evam Prata Sapriya Namakritya, Jata Nurago, Vikachit Uchyam. Sometimes Sukhdev Goswami, Arsanatan Goswami, Rupa Goswami, Madhavendra Puripad, all them. Sometimes Nara. What doing? Oh, weeping. Why weeping? Like madman. Have you heard the Bharat? The third life? <coughs> or sometimes sleeping, sometimes like madmen, rolling on the earth. Why? Anyone cannot. But those who are like them, oh, they can do So they become Maha Maha Bhagavad here. But his creeper, Bhakti creeper, where has done? Oh. Up to Rati, how? Sadhak body will be here. But that body has changed. All worldly thinking and everything has gone away. No Bisha is there. Always 24 hours reminding, remembering Krishna, thinking Krishna, hearing Krishna. They are doing it. But when Prem will come, he cannot control his body. Whether their bodies are now pure, but now they will be hurt when Prem will come. And someone, what? Like Dua, became transcendental. They will give up this body here, that no need of taking that it should be transcendental. <coughs> or oh, very transcendental, transcendental inside. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. All having quality. Why to make this body transcendental? Understand by no need of. So eternal body will come. And anyhow, alakshit rupena, you cannot see 
but they will give up this body. तो वो लोग बंदा जब वो इसनो अपराध उठे हाथी माता उपाड़े वाला चिंगे तार शुभ जाए। But when he is in this body here, oh, containing his shaman kirtan and all this. Anyhow, knowing or unwell, knowingly, especially knowingly, if Vaishnava Parad, they will do any offense to Vaishnava, Krishna kind of thing. The name cannot tolerate. His Harikatha, they cannot tolerate. His Harikatha, name, Leela, pastime, all are like Krishna. Don't think that these are polity. They have transcendental say, Vyaktitva. Oh, they have personality. Bhakti has personality. Shraddha has personality. So if anyone does anything, any offense to Vaishnavas, then what becomes? Uh, quickly Shraddha will go away. When Shraddha the root will go away, then what will be? Is it Nishta, Ruchi, Ashakti, up to Ruchi? And then you will be like Jeeva. Silap may be there, country may be there. But gradually they will also they will also disappear. So try to know all things. Don't make offenses. Even you should not uh, criticize them. If any bad person is there, oh, your this is not your look after. You should go on. Yes. You should not come in his association. From far away you, you can do pranam. And you saw how they observe him chanting and chanting and know this. Even what to do happens. It is like mad elephant. It will take the root from root it will take and or even you should not neglect. Neglecting you so Don't neglect. If you are neglecting, so neglecting one time, two times, and then it will be become offense. If you don't know anything, you are doing some like offense, or it will be counted in sheen. But repeatedly doing, knowingly, then it will be maha maha. So if you are doing bhakti even, and you are doing this, very soon your bhakti will go away. So be very careful for this. Even by mind, you should not neglect bhakti, bhagavan, bhakta, or anything related to Krishna. Never. Even not neglect. A Vaishnava is coming, and you went by Krishna. What is this nonsense? You are not happy. Then it is like offense. This neglecting also. What is the meaning of Upade? Vachinde tar sukhi jaya pata. If it is very heavy offense, then it will uproot it. Or chinde, if it is not so much. He takes one leaf, not uproots, but he breaks the leaves, something. That creeper also, and all the leaves will dry. So be careful. A Vaishnava has come to a, a, any nearby, and he heard that he is high class of Vaishnava, but he could not go there. Knowingly, oh, what? I know all. Oh. Then this is negligence. And then it will take 
so many leaves and it will break. Not proper root. And if he is attending again with honor or association with and repent for this that I have done this, then bhakti may come. Understand the second? What I told you? You said that if you neglect the availability or association of a pure devotee, then it may break the creek pure. But later on, if you come back in that association and repent for this, for not having gone, then yeah. you can restore your people. Uh, then again, I can make up. So two comes. <coughs> ताते मालिक जत्न करी करे आवरण अपराध हस्ते जिसे ना है तो गॉड ना पार्ट डे ही डस ही मेक्स ए फेंस फेंसिंग अराउंड डी सो दैट मेड एल्फेंस शुड नॉट कम एनी सी गोट कैन नॉट कम और सी गोट और दे आर वेरी एक्सपर्ट इन और देर इन नथिंग दैट गोस not taking <laughs> everything they take. <laughs> so you should be very careful. What is that fencing? What is that fencing? Good association. Good association. If not good association, <laughs> even oh, so many Vaishnava are there. Even they are connected, even you should be in that. They will call you. Oh, whether he is going to any, huh? any vidhava, <coughs> we don't want any <laughs> Then you will fear. This is like a fencing. And if Vaishnava, always any association, oh, it is concrete fencing. Oh. Hmm? So we should try to have, be in this way. Sometimes any devotee may be weak. At once he should, anyhow, he should try to go very soon in the association of high class or Gurudev and open his heart. He should, like book, open book. Gurudev read this. Oh Vaishnava Guru, my Siksha Guru, he should do. And he will hear all this and obey. Not only hearing will do, but you should obey them. Kintu, the Lothar Sangha, Uthe Upasakha, Bhukti Mukti, Bancha Jyoto, Asan Khatar Lekha. Nishidha Chaar Kutinati Jeevhinsan, Laaf Puja Pratishthadi Jyoto, Upasakha Agan, Shek Jalapaiya Upasakha Badi Jaheve. Stop the Hiya Mursaka Bhajan. You are meaning of Samiji? Oh, any purpose? No, but you should read the meaning. You should think that all oh, my Guru Dev is this instructor, this speaker. Oh, and you should try to follow. Sometimes unwanted creepers such as the creepers of desires for material enjoyment and liberation from the material world, grow along with the creeper of devotional service. The varieties of such unwanted creepers are unlimited. Some unnecessary creepers growing with the bhakti creeper are the creepers of behavior unacceptable for those trying to attain perfection diplomatic behavior, animal killing, mundane profiteering, mundane adoration, and mundane importance. All these are unwanted creepers, pur purport by Srila Prabhupada. Very there, big. Hmm? Very big. It's a couple of paragraphs. Couple of paragraphs. Mm -hmm. So big. But perfect is helpful. I just in brief. There is a certain pattern of behavior prescribed for those actually trying to be, become perfect. In our Krishna consciousness movement, we advise our students not to eat meat, not to gamble, to engage in illicit sex, and not to indulge in intoxication. 
People who indulge in these activities can never become perfect. Kutinati, or diplomatic behavior, cannot satisfy the Atma, the soul. It cannot even satisfy the body or the mind. The culprit mind is always suspicious. Therefore, our dealing should always be straightforward and approved by Vedic authorities. If we treat people with diplomatic or duplicious behavior, our spiritual advancement is obstructed. Jiva Hingsa refers to the killing of animals or to envy other living entities. The killing of poor animals is undoubtedly due to envy of those animals. The human form is meant for the understanding of Krishna consciousness, Ato Brahma Jigasa. Then it goes on further. There is some deeper meaning and deepest. Deep, river, so much. It can be explained for two, three, four days no. So deep means happiness. You know, what is Upashakha? What is Upashakha? Um, it has some of the symptoms, but it's actually a weed that will strangle the people. You should know that there are two kinds of upshakha, sub-branches. One in tree, and one out of tree, nearby growing, or seems to like creeper, but not really that creeper. It may be useless any creeper. Understand? And some or oh, very big ning in from the root of that creeper, so many branches, sub branches are coming. Here it has been given that Nishiddhacha Kutinati Jivinsam. These are the other creepers which are growing around that creeper, but not same creeper, in same creeper. Hmm? Like there is a paddy, paddy creeper, creeper or that. And so many kinds of weeds around, it seems that same thing, but they have no grain, but like same but no grain at all. So they are called Upashakha. If you are giving water and all these things, oh, they will grow up and they will cover the main grain. So that are Nishiddhacha. You are doing bhakti even, but you are doing what Nishiddhacha, which has been Prohibit in, in scripture not to do. Eh? Ah, forbidden activities. What is that? Govinda Bhakar. What may be that? Don't go to bed in your session. Don't drink. Don't smoke. Don't gamble. Like this thing. They are separate from bhakti. But if they are, and you are hearing, oh, all the fruits will go there, water will go there. And by this, oh, you you will have name and fame, then all will come to you. Even you are drinking, doing so many nonsense. I know so many acharj now, so-called guru, here and there. They are doing nonsense. But even they have, or oh, thousand and thousand of disciples. A guru, from his sannyas, he was deviated. But the blind followers of that guru, even with them, with his guru, and thinking that, oh, he has been liberated person. 
and he is so high, more than gopis and gops. You think, what to do? So these are nishibhasha. We should try to how do you think? <coughs> Kuti nati. Huh? Ku ti na ti. Ku. Those are very bad things. Very bad things. You should not do. But you are doing something. And naughty, forbidden things. Like jiva hinsha. Jiva hinsha means? To kill animals. Even like uh, what? Sweet madhu, madhu. What are others? Don't be like monkeys. Don't kill any animal. Like, there was a person like this. And he met Nardrishi. Nardrishi told, why you are killing all the animals? Why not just killing? And you are keeping them alive, but they are doing Half killing. You have Oh, I have a taste. I feel pleasure in doing this. Oh, you feel. And he took some water. And he saw that all oh, lads and lads. All they came to whom he has killed. And they are killing one by one. And they have a row in row of oh, thousand. And they will kill him. So he becomes senseless. And then he took some water. And he said, oh, Gurudev, I have here. Oh, please initiate me. I will obey you. And he told, Oh, you should do this month. And I'm coming after some time. And you should not go from here. All maintenance will come to you. Don't worry about that. Very soon I'm coming. You should chant and remember this month. And he went back. And after one year, two years, he returned. And his bogus work. Hunter was when he saw from far away that his Gurudev is coming, oh, he wanted to do pranam, but he could not do. Why? So many and so many insects were there. So he took his anything chadar and carefully that they should not. And then he did pranam. Then Angira Rishi asked, Oh, my friend Nara. Who is that person? Even he is doing pranam, but very carefully, taking care of the insects and and oh, he told that he was a very very cruel hard hunter. But he met me and I told to follow me, and now he is following. Okay. Oh, I know. You are like this tree. Or what? Touch stone. Touch a stone. Dome you will touch, he will be like you. So we should try to remember all these things and be very like this. So if he will give it what rising, hearing, chanting, remembering, but doing all these things, nonsense, kuti, nati, jivins and all, then bhakti will not come. Never will come. Your field is not fertile or very bogus, like desert. And what is La Puja Pratishtha? In the in very that creeper, in the root, or sub branches has come out. Like have you seen? The creeper of Loki, Loki, you know? What Loki? Pumpkin. It goes very high and very <coughs> branches and many frosts coming. But from the beginning or in the root, they will come so many. What is the meaning? Oh. That is, if you are doing bhakti, but you want what love, puja, pratishtha. So 
But what they are? Upasaka means Kibhakti Swarup Siddha, Arup Siddha, not really Bhakti. You should try to realize the differences between Arup Siddha, Sam Siddha, and Swarup Siddha. I have told so many times. Do you remember? Arup Siddha, but not Bhakti. But even you think that, oh, it is Bhakti. Hmm? Like, Make a garden, making garden. You are thinking that all fruits will come and I will serve Krishna. But this is gardening is not bhakti. Why not chanting and remember? Why you are wasting your time in this? Then when you will have all these points. Oh, you will cut up. Duke Shaka. What are they? Oh, I should be happy in this world. Oh, all should worship me. Mukti even, liberation. Even the bhakti of Narayan, Lakshmi in Vaikuntha. Moreover, the bhakti of Ramachandra and bhakti of Dvarkadhi, Mathuradhi. You cannot cut, but doing some work. Oh, Don't cut, but very good. And doing like this. And then, oh, the main root, what? To serve Krishna, Kanjira. All this will go to Kanjira. Otherwise, we stopped in this world, Brahmanda, Viraja, Vaikuntha, anywhere it can be stopped. So if you want, then only one reach will be. Even you will have to scream now. What is spinning? Cream. Oh. You should come for Oh, very good. Dasharas. Basharashi man. Sakharas also. And then you will see that they will be helpful for Madhuras. One mali, one pointed creeper will be there. But various branches they are also. Various. What? Especially three, th sixty kinds of huh? branches will be there. And in them so much, or oh, sub branches, sub branches. It will cover Krishna. Conjugal Radha and Krishna. So sweet. So sweet. So Mali, Mursa ka barjari, prem phal paki pade. So many kinds of fruits. As he is qualified. Shanta, Dasya, Shakha, Vasya. You know that Shanta Ras and uh, Dasya Ras is also various kind. I told yesterday, oh, more than thousands. And in this way, oh, Vasya Ras, also many of kinds. So many. And then Madhura so many of kinds. So, now the fruit is there, very sweet, very fragrant, and very soft also. No, eh? no seed, no nothing. Only a rush and the rush, and that is madhur rush. And from there it comes where. Where there is Mali, God, 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 and it is, pulse are coming, fruits are coming there, and he is, what is the meaning? But he is about to have print. And in practicing Rati, Bhav, with Vibhav, Shanti, Yadichai, 
keep practicing. Mm -hmm. Oh, so all the time. And very sweet, juicy, <coughs> and you like tasty. Oh, it cannot be told by any words. Even by transcendental words, it cannot be told for the devotees for here. Then, a high class of devotees, oh, he will bring that fruit and give to you. That, oh, test how to do. Then you can do it. Otherwise, no. Like here, the sweet sounds of oh, remembering Krishna. What Krishna is doing? He is dancing and making slow. And peacocks are there dancing. And Krishna is with whom? Oh, very dear gopis there. And they are all dancing. And this sweet peacocks are giving their tails very, very beautiful with seven colors. What colors? Oh, what color? Oh, their colors what? Prem, Shne, Man, Prane, Bhav, Rag, and Rag, these seven things are there. You cannot imagine. <laughs> the colors are there. <laughs> so varieties of colors there. Anurag, Rag means color. Anurag, again and again. So these are colors of boats, of train, so many things. So they remind us. And the devotees will what? He hearing this and they will at once quickly go to that place and they will join the council of Krishna where he is dancing and doing all this. But what is here? This is the stage of oh, Rati. Come gradually maturing. And Mamata is coming more to Krishna. The devotees who are related with Krishna. Mamata. Mamata means? Oh, Krishna is mine. First it will come. Oh, I am of Krishna. The mode of Chandravali and others, his followers. And after that it will come. Oh, Krishna is mine. Now Krishna is controlled, and the sadhak becomes in this stage of mood also. Oshwadhin Bhartrika, in the guidance of Lalita, Vishakha, all sadhin, Kanjura. Oh, you cannot imagine if you are not so much definite. So at the time of Rati, all will come. What is there? You will realize all these things. And then his bhakti is matured with the help of bhav, vibhav, anubhav, sattvic and all. And gradually, oh, so many transformations are going on. And now he is climbing on that creeper, gradually. No? He comes out of Brahmanda very quickly from Birja Brahmalo, by Kunthalo. Then Ajodhya, Dwarka, Mathura, quickly. Oh, he comes to Krishna. Radha and Krishna can be done. And now he becomes, comes in the arms of gopis. As he had endeavored for bhakti and practice. If in Raganuga Bhakti he has followed any gopi, like Rupmanjari, Oh, there he will And she will quickly be <coughs> merciful to him. And then he will be in Prakat Leela of Krishna, first in the Prakat Leela of Mahaprabhu, <coughs> and then he will come in the home of Gopi. And you will be same as you have practiced. And then by the mercy of Nitya Siddha Gopi, Yogamaya, especially Vrinda Devi, and then you can serve conjugal in there also that is upper of the So this is what eighth of Paramapal. Parampur. What meaning?
164. To taste the fruit of devotional service in Goloka Vrindavan is the highest perfection of life. And in the presence of such perfection, the four material perfections, religion, economic development, sense gratification, and liberation are very insignificant achievements. This is the goal of our life. Actually, but we are depreciating. Entangled them in lap nishidacha kutinati jivinsan lap puja pratishtha. We want to come out, but we think that our atmosphere in which we are, at once we cannot be loved. We think that then where, what to do? I am giving up all. How to maintain my life? You don't know that you should not be so much worry for this. Oh, Krishna is there. He has promised. He has promised. So try to follow all these things and very quickly your life will be successful. Go, Prama. Hey, oh. uh, said if somebody has very bad character, you shouldn't criticize them, but you should not associate. And from very far, you should offer pranams. Offer but, pranam means far. Oh, I will not associate this. Not pranam, honor it. It means not. Oh, oh, I will not be with you, no. I am uh, to advise. Then the other question is, you said that if somebody is in Baba Bhakti, then externally he's hearing and chanting, and internally he's absorbed in Krishna's Leela. And the next verse talks about Vaishnava Parad. So the question is, how can somebody in Bhava Bhakti possibly commit that a Vaishnava? That Rupa Swami has shown that he was once in trance and lame Khanja Krishna Das came and he unknowingly, he, he laughed, he laughed for that. But even he thought that, oh, oh, he is laughing to me and he is somewhat... Eh? Yeah. Um, and, and by this event, oh, he was disturbed. He was not disturbed, but to show us, to give teachings, oh, that even you should be very careful, very careful. Yeah. Anything? What? Why would he talk about Kutinati and those other low activities after speaking about uh, the gardener who's hearing and chanting. Because he in, in body, that practitioner, Bhakti Jo. So it may be <coughs> happen like her. Or oh, he was doing good for others. He was saving the lives. But this is Kutinati. He should not do like this. Or oh, if he is drowning, that baby. Oh, he has gone there. He must go. If he is thinking that he is, if he will observe in Krishna, he has nothing to do. He will not see. He will never see. And if he has some sense, then he will see and that quickly he will take it and keep it. And not attached. Not having the shelter of bonafide guru, can we, by reading books, attain any realization on the level of Rati? No. It will be that you will not go to hell by hearing and chanting Krishna. But it may be by the fruit of this, or oh, in next birth, you will have a very bonafide guru or Shichari. And then you will have to go follow the same process as it has been told in Shama. And if you are neglecting that, no need of Guru, no need of taking shelter any Vaishnava. Oh, what is written, I will do. Then you will have to go. 
impacta, have no sense of carta, being carta. How we can commit a Vaishnava part? But if any Vaishnava is not thinking I am the doer, how can he commit any aparat? Oh, it will be only in frame and stage. We are not. Up till now, Rati. Oh, we cannot think like Any devotee cannot think like This question is not proper. Something wrong. If he is in this way, in this state of nothing to think like, how will he? If can a devotee in the stage of nishtha, oh, he can do. Question like this. But after, when Ruchi comes, no question like this. Absolutely. When nishtha, Manipudhi Purvika. Intelligence is all things that I should chant them. I have no rati. Even I should chant. chant. I should hear. He has no taste. At that time, this But when Ruchi is there, no question. All doubts gone. If Ruchi comes, no doubt at all. No, in any subject, he has no doubt. Only he wants to hear your past. Go, Prima. Oh, you should do one Kirtan. Kirtan means Hare Hare Krishna. And you should try to be ready. Hare Krishna. What time? So you should do Oh, on behalf of Srila Gurudev and also all the devotees who are endeavoring to organize book publishing, book distribution, we want to request you to attend tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. One meeting, assembly will be here. And other senior devotees will be here to enliven all of us to engage in book distribution and be more supportive to all the publications which are there and still to become. We will explain some results which, come, which came today from meeting. We had some very good meeting and we want to inform all of you and also encourage you to participate in an active way. So please attend tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock, meeting on book distribution in this very pavilion. Yes. The Australian devotees should assemble together and come with any, uh, to contact myself and we will make any meeting with Shri Dev about the Australian Yatra. At 4 o'clock in the afternoon, they should come. Tomorrow, fire sacrifice will also be there at 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock starting fire sacrifice. Please. Haribor Prabhu from Didis, and everyone uh, interested to go to Lachua, we need to make a list what day, the hour, the airport, please come to me because we are ready to make a list. Huh? And also if everybody interested. All the devotees who will come to Alachua, please contact Ramesh Prabhu or Radha Sundari Didi so that you can register and you can make sure that you have a proper facility. First come, first serve. So please Ramesh Prabhu, where can they meet with you? Anywhere here or have you any office? Here at the table, after the program. Thank you.
Dr. Rania Maharaj will be coming to Miami in, in between Alachua and here. And we'll be, have a, everybody can stay at my house in Miami. If you contact uh, Madhavi Didi, she'll make arrangements for picking you up at the airport. Hare Krishna. Registering, registering, but still, quite a few have not, and it would be so helpful if you could do that. Now there's so many here, and it's very difficult for us to go and find everyone. So, if you could come to myself, uh, my wife, Manju Basini, or Nirguna Prabhu, or his good wife, Nilachala Didi. Uh, it would be very, very helpful. Now tonight we have one reading of a poem by Chandrika Didi, and also tonight we have a, group, a very special drama put on by Charo Chandrika Didi. <coughs> So I just wrote this poem this afternoon for Guru Day. <laughs> if I offer my heart on a tray of gold, like a flower or lamb, you will accept, I'm told, and never return it to follow a dead end road. You will offer my heart to that couple divine where it can beat to the sound of Sham's flute and the footsteps of gopis dancing around. If I offer my heart on a tray of gold, cast in prayer, will you see a sprout of sincerity there and water that tiny creeper with words flowing with the frame of divine love and your knowing everything I need to feed my insatiable soul. I'm lost in the hole of my misdirected mind. Will you find me when I am far from your lotus bud feet? Drop a rope of 108 beads into the well where I fell and remind me to clasp hold Dancing fingers, dancing tongues, dancing with you into Vrindavan, following the mystic attraction of his flute, feeling Radha's love so pure, final cure of my disease. So intense the blue-hued boy is entranced and mystified to melt my heart to cry and cry. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Today, when I was in the school of Rajendranath Prabhu, so so many boys and girls. The students gave me flowers for written something inside. I saw from uh, outside nothing was there, only the shape was. But when I opened each, I saw that they have written something very sweet. So I have read all now and have accepted and by mercy to them. Go Pramana. That prayed me that uh, I'm weak. I'm going to oh, body sense gratification. So please you should help me. So they have written all these things in very good way. Go Pramana. Few devotees have left quite a few things over from Giri Raj Govardhan. So many shoes. <laughs> so if you've left, please come and take. Also, if there's lost and found one devotee 
is saying he lost some blue mat. If anyone has it or can find it or anything, if you have some lost and found, bring it to us, please. And if anyone is going to Visalia or could go, some devotees are coming in for Hawaii. They want to catch the last couple of days. So we need someone who's going or can go to Hawaii, uh, not <laughs> to Hawaii, <laughs> to Visalia. Aloha, mahalo. <laughs> Nine o'clock, the fire jug is so those who have been initiated should be there on time. Nine o'clock. Right here, outside here, on the side, out here. Okay, uh, for the parents, please again, we're asking you, children should not disturb the drama running behind or playing if they can sit with you or somebody else. Thank you. So this drama will be in four parts. The first part is of a guru instructing his disciple about Guru Tattva. Then there will be three short dramas, one after the other, with the guru giving some brief conclusions in between. So, even better than worship of Krishna is worship of those things that are in connection with Krishna. Tadiya, that is the Vaishnavas. Varadhanam Savesham, Vishnu Radhanam Param, Tasmat Parataram Devi, Tadiyanam Samachanam. What is Sadhu Sangha? How does a body properly associate with the Vaishnava Sadhu? Srila Rupa Goswami Pad has given many good instructions in Shubhadesha Amrita. Sadati Priti Gurinati, Guriyama Priti Prichati, Bhante Bojo Ti Chaiva, Sadhidam Priti Lakshanam. That is, giving and accepting gifts, revealing one's mind in confidence and inquiring confidentially, and giving and accepting the 
These are the six symptoms of love shared by one devotion and another. Because there are different levels of devotees, one should associate with each devotee according to his level. The Kanishta Adhikaris, Madhima Adhikaris, and the topmost Vaishnavas or Uttama Adhikaris. Within these levels, there are many gradations. How do we recognize a Vaishnava, and how do we know which level that Vaishnava is on? Once, Ramananda Vasu and Satyarad Khan asked this very same question at the lotus feet of Jitanya Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu first answered by describing the Kanishta Alikari. He said, whoever just once chants the holy name of Krishna is worshipable and is the best of all human beings. The following year, Mahaprabhu described the characteristics of a Majimadikari by saying, a person who always constantly chants the holy name of Krishna should be considered to be a first class Vaishnava and your duty is to serve his lotus feet. Then finally, the third year, Mahaprabhu answered by saying, the characteristics of an Uttama Adhikari. One whose very sight brings the holy name to your lips should be considered the best of all Vaishnavas. Shasta has described in many places the qualities of a pure Vaishnava, but still it is very difficult to recognize a pure Vaishnava. Even Gadada Pandit himself did not immediately recognize Pandurit Vijanidhi as being the most exalted Vaishnava. heart's desire may be fulfilled. Oh, I only desire to associate with pure Vaishnavas. I long for this. And you will wait no more. For a very great Vaishnava has come to know you. Oh, Krishna is so merciful. He has surely heard my prayers. So tell me, when will you take me to see this Vaishnava? We could go right now. Why delay? Yes. But there is one condition. From here on, you must see me as your dear most servant. Oh, you are so tricky, Mukunda. I am your servant. So, whatever makes you happy. Krishna, 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 What is the name of this Vaishnava? Oh, his name is Sriman Kundari Vidyani. His name is Sri Gadadhar. Oh, he is very fortunate. From very early in his childhood, he showed total detachment to family life. He is born the 
son of the Brahmin, mother of Mishra, but this is not his real identity, of course. He is always absorbed in deep bhajan of Sri Krishna. Oh. He is a wonderful devotee. He is beloved by all the Vaishnavas. In fact, when he heard about you, he was so anxious to meet you. I am also very happy to meet such glorious Vaishnavas. It is my great fortune to meet such an elevated soul. Tell me, Gadad Hargurbu, how may I serve you? Oh no, we have come to render service to you. Tell me, what brings you to Navadvi? I have so missed your association. Do you remember how you used to call on me for treatments and I would tell you, your only disease is love of God. Yes, you are a great cheater. How can I forget? What kind of a Vaishnava is he? I have never seen or heard of a Vaishnava being surrounded by so much opulence. I feel my Nimai Pandit would not approve of this. Mukunda may be mistaken about this person. Due to his simple nature and affection for his friend, he might have fooled himself into thinking he's more advanced than he actually is. I see no more.
I've been able to prevent a great catastrophe because of your presence. When I first saw him being surrounded by so much opulence, I was convinced he's a materialistic Vaishnava. But you, you read my mind. And being so magnanimous, you revealed to me the unlimited extent of Pundari Vijayaniri's pure love of God. Yet today, I have become an offender. And the extent of my offense can only be mitigated by your mercy. Please be merciful and purify my heart. You know, I have no guru under whose guidance I can develop my body. I know, I know the importance for someone who wants to cross over the ocean of material existence and develop the love of God. And for one who has been an offender, there's nothing but misery upon misery. He will not be able to have the association of the Sudha Bhakta for lakhs and lakhs of births. How unfortunate. No punishment worse than this. So I am feeling I must take shelter of this great Vaishnava whom I, I have offended. I pray that he might accept me as his disciple. <laughs> seeing your extravagant demeanor and appearance, doubts began to arise in his mind. He did not recognize your real position. But having seen your deep love for the Lord, he is so filled with remorse, he wants to take initiation from you. Oh, he is this Kinshan Vaishnava. He was born of a good family, from mud of Mishra. From very early, he has had a deep attachment to Krishna. Therefore, I'm thinking that for a very elevated Vaishnava, like a has such a qualified devotee, please consider these points and find an auspicious day. Initiate him into Diksha Madhya. Be assured that I will do as you have requested. By the Lord's mercy, I have been fortunate enough to meet Due to the results of many, many lifetimes of pious activity, one may meet such a disciple as me. You are so merciful. Please allow me to go and inform my Nimai of your decision. I will now go and prepare for this wonderful occasion. Yes. Mm. On the forthcoming 12th day of the waxing moon, will be very awesome. Come here then, believe me, and all our plans will be successful. Hari Although Pandurit Vijayanidhi appeared to be very 
materialistic. He wasn't, in, in fact, a very exalted Vaishnava. Of course, he is Vrishabhani Maharaj himself. There are three symptoms of a pure Vaishnava. Tasmat Guru Papajeta. Tasma Guru Papajeta Dignata Shri Uttama Shadde Parata Nishnatam Brahmana Pasa That is, he must be realized in Shastra. He must have realized Krishna. That is, he is seeing Krishna every moment. And he must be completely materially detached. Hundreds virginity certainly have all these three qualifications, although it may appear otherwise. Srila Rupa Goswami Pad has clearly warned us in Sri Upadesha Amrita to be very careful about judging and offending a Vaishnava in this way. Just like the Ganges may appear to be polluted, so although it is not polluted at all, she is completely pure. So, do not ever find fault in a Mahabharata, for he is completely pure. Jitanya Mahaprabhu himself said that, you should, that Vaishnava Parad is like a mad elephant and uproots the creeper of devotion and destroys it. So, be sure to carefully protect that creeper by fencing all around it with sadhana bhakti under the guidance of a pure Vaishnava. There are many examples in Shastra of those that have made apparat to great Vaishnavas, such as Devan and the Pandit. One day, Devan and the Pandit was giving class to his students. He had thousands of followers. But he preached Mayavad philosophy. Therefore, when Srivas Pandit was passing by, he became completely overcome with astasattvic bars upon hearing him recite the verse from Shima Bhagavata. But this Devadanda Pandit, he, he just simply saw him as a great disturbance. He had no idea of his exalted position.
Not be lazy when it comes to self-realization. Always meditate with great concentration on our goal, mukti, liberation. Then it will be easily within your reach. You only have to want it. What is this foolish man saying? He is completely ignorant of the essential teachings of Srimad Bhagavatam. What right does he have to speak on this Mahapurana? The Srimad Bhagavatam is the book incarnation of Sri Krishna. The Bhagavad Purana declares that the ultimate goal of life is devotional service to Krishna. It is the cream or essence of the Vedas. The four Vedas are likened into a pot of yogurt, and when this is turned, it is turned into buttercream, which is the Srimad Bhagavatam. This cream was served and churned by Sukadev Goswami. It was tasted and relished by Pariksha Maharaj. Sukadev Goswami is very dear to me. He is fully conversant in the esoteric truths revealed in Srimad Bhagavatam, which with complete description of my absolute position and nature as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. This fool does not know anything of Srimad Bhagavatam. He is tirelessly explaining of Siddhanta of Srimad Bhagavatam, completely omitting the real essence. Bhakti, today I will tear his book to no. shreds. No, don't do it. You will regret it. No, all will criticize. You must not do this. What will be gained by it? Yes, no one will understand. Yes, Krishna. Bhagavatam is Krishna himself. This planet will only use this against you. 